Welcome to this vinyasa for power and confidence. Begin in Balasana Child's Pose, bringing your knees out to the width of your mat and your seat to your heels. Begin to breathe in and out the nose, creating a wave-like sound with your breath. Expanding your lungs on every inhalation in 360 degrees. Every exhalation, engage the pelvic floor and pull the belly in and up. Engaging root block and navel lock on each exhalation will bring more power and confidence into your body and into your practice. Coming forward to hands and knees. Inhale, exhale all the way down. Curl the toes under, lift up, lowering slowly down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. Exhale, your seat to your heels, Balasana. Inhale, curling the toes under, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Spreading your fingers wide, broadening across the shoulders, lengthening the spine. Engage your thighs. Release the backs of your legs. Check in with your rib cage. Make sure your ribs aren't splaying out forward. Knit your ribs in. And then stepping your feet to touch the top of your mat, folding forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, stretching the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart, maybe smile. Inhale, stretching the arms out, come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, lowering the heels as slowly as you can. Moving in the rhythm of your breath, lifting up on the toes. Exhale, gliding the heels down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down. Sit down deep, Ukatasana, hands to heart. Inhale, engage the legs, lift up. Exhale, get down with those hips. Inhale, squeeze the inner thighs together and exhale, sit deep. Inhale, stretch out and up and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, find length in the spine, really bring those shoulders back. Exhale, fold, stepping back, plank. Knees on the floor, lowering softly down to the belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower. Engage the thighs, lift the kneecaps here. One more time, lifting the heart, rolling the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, curl the toes under, press straight up, push up, and shift the hips back. Adho Mukha Shavasana. On every inhalation, expanding the belly, then feeling the heart expand and lift. Every exhalation, root lock, navel lock. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, extend that leg tall. And exhale, bringing the foot in between your hands. Low lunge, pulling the hips into line with one another. Left knee over left ankle. Stay here, sweep the arms out and up. Pralana. Look back and make sure that back leg is in a straight line from the hip. If you want to go deeper, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the right knee down to hover above the mat. Inhale, sweeping the palms out and together. Exhale, pulling the energy down into the heart center. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, out and up, straighten the back leg. And exhale, hands to the earth. Step your back foot forward and then lift the right leg up. Perhaps your fingertips stay on the floor. Perhaps swim them back behind you like airplane Virabhadrasana 3. Squeeze the inner thighs toward one another. Really straighten that right leg. Perhaps interlace the hands behind the back 
open across the chest. Pull the belly button in and up underneath your rib cage. With grace, lower that right foot down. Perhaps your hands are still clasped and lift and expand, expand across the heart center. Bringing your hands down to the mat. Lowering your right knee down. Make sure there's enough padding for that right knee as you lift up. Exhale, lower the arms. Allow the hips to sink down. Straighten the front leg and fold any amount. Working into that hamstring. Releasing and relaxing the left thigh. Ground down into the left foot. Curl the back toes under, low lunge. Step the feet to touch. Inhale, sweep the palms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Ground down into the right foot. Lift the left leg up. Place the left ankle on top of the right thigh and sit down deep, opening into this left hip here. Reconnect with your breath as you lower your fingertips down, perhaps folding forward. You can always stay up if this is too much for your left hip. If you want to, you can try sitting all the way down onto the right heel. Wherever you are, slowly unravel the pose coming into Uttanasana. Bringing your weight more forward over the heels, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Other side, sit down deep, Ukutasana, lengthen your tailbone down, pull your low belly in. Inhale, find the pulse of the breath. With every exhalation, sitting down deeper into the pose. On your next exhalation, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale. Stepping back into plank, knees to the mat, shoulder blades on your back, lower down onto your belly. Elbows close to your ribcage, lift up, Bhujangasana. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lowering down. So you're curling the spine up and lower. Curl the back toes under, push up and back, Adho Mukha Shavasana. Breathing with sound in and out the nose here. Every inhalation, feel your belly inflate with your breath. Every exhalation, engage the pelvic floor, pull the belly button in and up. Root lock, navel lock. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale the leg up, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend the leg and exhale, step it between the hands, right knee over right ankle. Low lunge, straighten that back leg more than it's ever been. Come forward onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, you can bend the knee down towards the mat. Not a must, but this is very strengthening for your body. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the knee to hover, hands to heart. Inhale, stretch and strengthen. Exhale, soften and release. Inhale, expand. And exhale, pull it into the heart center. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale, lifting that left leg up. Perhaps lift your arms up. Virabhadrasana three. Press that foot actively back behind you, keeping the hips square. So really lower the left hip in line with the right and squeeze your inner thighs toward one another. Pull the belly button in and up underneath your rib cage. Perhaps your hands are clasped behind you. Lowering back down into the lana. Keep your hands clasped if they are and lift the heart out and up towards the sky. Go back. Lifting up out of the low back. 
squeezing the inner thighs toward one another. Find strength in the legs and lower the hands down to the mat. Lower the knee down onto the mat or onto a blanket. Straightening the right leg. Find length in the spine and fold. Inhale, bending the front knee, lifting the arms up. Exhale, allow the hips to soften. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, gather everything to you that you love. Exhale, release the fingertips to the mat. Step the feet together, lengthen the spine, and slowly fold Uttanasana. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend deep into the left knee, bringing the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Sit down as deep as you can, opening into this right hip. Feel into your core here. Stay here if you want to take it deeper. Bring your fingertips on the blocks or all the way down to the mat and fold. If you want to take it even deeper, sit all the way down onto your left heel. Unravel the pose. Ground down into the hands, hop a bit back. Bring your forearms down to the mat, curl in. Your knees are out towards the edges of the mat. Your toes are in the same direction as your knees. Pulling yourself in. Relax and let go here. Come back into your breath. Now spread your fingertips wide. Bend your elbows, engage your belly, perhaps bringing one knee up, perhaps bringing the other knee up for Vakasana. Feeling your confidence and power growing as you lift up slowly into this pose. Release, fingertips to the mat, knees together. Shift your knees over to the right. Inhale, stretch the right arm up. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Now shift your, it helps me to shift my feet to the right edge of the mat. Lift your feet up. You wanna stay here or straighten the front leg, perhaps straighten the back leg. Squeezing your elbows toward one another and release the pose. Inhale the arms out and up, and we're going to roll out those hands before we do the other side. Rolling the wrists, press the left heel of the palm forward, pulling the left fingertips back, and then switch sides, pulling the right fingertips back, stretching the right wrist. Curl the fingertip all the way up to your thumb in, and then out. Great. We are ready for the other side. So shifting your knees over to the left, sweep your left arm up, bring your left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. So you don't wanna use come onto the hip, you wanna come onto the thigh. So either stay here, trying to find where it's even on the, on the earth floor here. Come up. And if you want to take it deeper, straighten the front leg, straighten maybe the back leg, and maybe you need to try it a couple times. Maybe it doesn't work the first time. You need to try it again. Really sweep the left arm up, bending the elbows in. Some days things happen automatically and with ease and grace, and sometimes. Power and confidence means to get back up and to try again and again and again and fall until it finally works. And if it doesn't work one place, then maybe it's going to work somewhere else or in a different way. Maybe we need to take a little break. 
So sit down, ground your sitting bones down, bring your soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. Just like in life, sometimes one area of your life is going really smoothly and another has some kinks, a little difficulty in it. Be proud of the areas that are working as you work through the kinks in the areas where it's not flowing as easily or gracefully. We're going to try either side that's difficult for you one more time. So I'm trying a different direction with the same leg. And perhaps this time it works, straightening the right leg forward, the left leg back. And yay, <laughs> this time it works. Just like in life, you fall out. You try it again, you try it a different way, you take a rest, you think things through, and then you try again. Lift up and fold forward. Really lengthen out, use the belly to fold deeper. One more time, inhale, find length out of the low back. Exhale, use your belly to fold you even deeper and grab what you can. Shins, ankles, toes. Folding forward in Pajimottanasana. Arm balances really strengthen our confidence and power because we need a strong core and because we could fall, fall flat on our face, which is scary. Inhale, come up, hands to heart. Ground down. Imagine there's energy pulling you deep into the earth. Bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh again and sit back down deep. Now stay here, this is enough. If you want more, we can try to lift up. So bring your hands down to the mat, shoulder width apart, press into that right foot and perhaps lift the left foot up. And if you can extend that leg out behind you, then I say good for you, because I'm not there yet. Find your breath, switching sides, left ankle on top of the right thigh, Sit down deep. Exhale, hands to the earth. Stay here or shift that shin forward, pressing it against your triceps, perhaps lifting the right foot up, perhaps extending that leg out behind you straight. Inhale, lift out and up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold. Walking the hands forward, we're coming into Adam Mukushavasana. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Sight with a ha out the mouth. Ha! The seat to heels, balasana. Feel the breath like a wave moving from the low back all the way up the spine to the back of the heart. And on your exhalation, ground your forearms down into the mat, shoulder width, forearms like they're on railroad tacks. Stay here, or straighten the legs. You could also walk your feet slowly in closer, and if pinch is part of your practice, you can kick up. Lower your knees back down to the mat. Sit up on your heels, sweep your arms forward. Bringing your left arm under your right arm, perhaps your palms together. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Switching sides, right arm under the left, giving some love to our shoulders. Release the arms, cross your legs, sit down, straighten the legs out, come forward, lie down onto your back, 
Pull your knees into your chest, massaging the low back by circulating your knees around. Straighten both legs up to the sky, palms on the belly. Inhale, lower the right leg. Exhale, lift it up. Switching sides. Alternating legs. Inhale, you can lift the shoulder blades up away from the mat for a little bit more challenge. Or you can lower both legs at the same time down and up. Making sure that that low back is pressed firmly down into the earth. No space between your low back and the floor. Building some heat and fire, confidence and power in the core here. Arm balances actually require a lot of strength in your core. Not as so much in the arms and the shoulders as much as in the core. Our solar plexus are the seat of our power and confidence. Whereas our low belly is our playfulness, sensual enjoyment. And together we can find ease and power and confidence as we flow through challenges with power, confidence, and a playful attitude. Feet together, knees splaying out. Right hand to belly, left hand over the heart, opening up, feeling the breath like a wave from the belly rising to the heart lifting. Shift your hips to the left, straighten your right leg out, allow your left knee to fall over the right, opening up here, twisting open. Switching sides, shifting hips to the right, allowing the left knee to glide over the right leg, twisting here. See where you can let go a little more in the jaw, in the forehead, in the throat, in the heart area. Slowly extending both legs out, turning the palms up for a mini Shavasana. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Blow it out as slowly as you can out the mouth. Two more times, breathe in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And last time, breathe in through the nose. Slowly out through the mouth and relax here.
Beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling over onto your side. Pressing into the palm of the hand, coming up, sitting with cross legs, bringing your hands to your heart, wishing you power and confidence to make all your dreams come true. Namaste.